The largest disability tournament to take place in England begins at St George's Park when the Cerebral Palsy World Cup kicks off on June the 16th. It gives players like Captain Jack Rutter, who was a Birmingham City trainee with Nathan Redmond, a second chance to play the game he loves. I was out with friends on a, on a night out, as you do, 18-year-old, and I was struck to the back of the head in an unprovoked assault. That one single blow, and I fractured my skull in two places, had a brain hemorrhage, and I was made deaf in my right ear. Suffered more brain damage, very, very hard to come to terms with. My balance, my coordination, my agility was very affected. I had to take the very hard decision to retire from professional football in 2010. Now, hanging up my boots at 18 was like, you know, what am I going to do now? It's my one true passion in life, something I was good at and I worked hard at from very, very young. Having it taken away from me was very tough. So get a second chance in football at a high level, a very high level in the disability sector is just brilliant. Martin Sinclair explains how the teams are constructed of players with varying levels of disability which are numbered from five to eight. You have to have one five at all times. Um, eight has to be <coughs> one eight on the pitch and then sevens or sixes, depending on what um, classification you are. Martin is brother to Aston Villa striker Scott Sinclair. But is this now his time in the spotlight? No, not really, because I've got um, more caps than him in, in, in England international. So, I mean, I lay my caps down on the um, table and say, what have you got to bring at the table? So, I mean, there is a bit of banter between us, but yeah, this is a f it's fun and games. The games kick off at St George's Park with England versus Japan at one o'clock on Tuesday. Pete Colley, Sky Sports.